Ensure that your XL joiner internal doors are fitted by a competent tradesperson utilising the appropriate tools and materials. Delivery and storage. The door should be checked upon delivery to ensure that it matches your order. Check for any damage that may have occurred in transit, especially damage to the protective packaging. Ensure that the door is the correct style, finish and size in accordance with your order. Doors can be heavy and should be handled carefully to avoid accident and damage. If necessary, get assistance when handling the door. The door should always be stored flat and elevated from the floor with appropriate bearers, ideally in the same room that it's going to be installed. It should be protected from damp and dirt and located in an area where it will not be damaged during storage. Installation. Carefully remove the existing door and hardware. Remove the packaging from the new door. If it is a glazed door and the glass is protected by paint and peel, this should be left in place until painting or staining has been completed. Measure the door opening and allow approximately 3mm clearance between the top and sides of the door and the surrounding door lining. The clearance between the bottom edge of the door and the floor depends on the floor covering and any threshold strips that may be fitted. Mark the door for trimming to ensure it fits within the door opening. Up to 6mm can be removed from each edge of the door to a maximum reduction of 12mm in both height and width. Any reduction must be removed evenly from each edge of the door. Certain doors, such as fire doors, may have different guidelines to fitting and the installer must refer to the individual fitting instructions that come within the door packaging. It is recommended that three hinges be used to hang the door. If there are existing hinge cutouts in the door lining, these can be used to locate the new door hinges. If the door lining has only two hinge cutouts, the third hinge should be positioned centrally between the top and bottom hinges. If the existing hinge cutouts are untidy or the wrong size, neatly splice timber into the cutouts ready for fitting the new hinges. The existing latch position in the door lining can also be used to determine the latch position on the door. Please note however that latches should not be fitted adjacent to door mid rails where the joint may be compromised. After marking the door for trimming, plane it down to the correct size, checking the door fit as necessary. The hinge edge should be chamfered to prevent the hinges binding between the door and lining. Cut out and fit the hinges to the door, ensuring all screw holes are pre-drilled. Cut out and fit the latch to the door, ensuring the handles are correctly aligned with the latch. Temporarily hang the door and fit the handles to ensure that the door is accurately fitted prior to finishing. Fit the new latch plate to the door lining and check that the door latch engages when the door is closed. The door should open and shut smoothly when fitted without the need to apply excessive force. Remove the door from the door lining and all door hardware before painting or staining. Lightly sand the door and then finish it with a suitable product as detailed in the XL joinery finishing instructions. These are printed on the door label contained within the door packaging. Please remember to treat the top and bottom of the doors and the hardware cutouts as well as the door faces and edges. If necessary, remove any paint and peel from glazed doors upon completion. Once the final finishing coat on the door has dried, refit the hardware and rehang the door.